article recently, which was published in the Huffington Post, declaring my presidency, my candidacy for president of Facebook. It was a humorous article. However, humorous as it was, it had a deeper implication to it, which is to say that the future of Facebook and the way that it's run is something that we should think about most seriously. At present, Facebook itself is run by a corporation, Facebook Incorporated, and it's not possible for us as participants to offer our ideas about how Facebook is developed, about the design or the administration thereof, and there's something a bit unfair about that. After all, we as participants are creating the content and developing Facebook itself. So it doesn't really belong to any one group or company, it belongs to all of us. And if we can fully realize the potential of Facebook, we can move it to a next level of development. That is to say that Facebook today has become the history's first truly global network in which people come together with shared interests to exchange their opinions and to develop new ideas and new potential. But it's designed as a for-profit organization not really to facilitate collaboration and that is where the issue lies. Which is to say, in the future, Facebook really needs to be about individuals and communities, individuals not as products, not as customers, but as citizens with a commitment to make Facebook better and to work together with each other with experts, scientists, administrators, artists, and ordinary citizens to address together the issues of our time, from climate change to the discrepancy in income to all sorts of serious issues that humanity now faces as a whole. To create a true global village, perhaps Facebook is the best place to start. If we can run Facebook as a community, I think that means that we can run this world as a community, that we can reinvent it uh, from the bottom up ourselves. Moreover, speaking here in Korea, I'd like to note that the first efforts to develop a online social community started here with SciWorld and that perhaps somewhere in Korea is sleeping the potential for a new generation of social networks which involve not customers but rather citizens of the earth.